The topic of this video is the black skulls formula, which we will explain to you in the following minutes. The black skulls formula is a tool to price European call options. To understand the black skulls formula, you first have to understand European call options. A European call option gives the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy a specific good at a pre-arranged price in a pre-arranged quantity on the exercise date. An example for a European call option is when Easy Finance has the right to buy one AT&T share from Goldman Sachs at a price of 10 euro in one year. This graph shows the value of the call option depending on the share price on the exercise date. The value of the option is the difference between the stock price and 10 euros, since one could just exercise the option and buy the stock from Goldman Sachs for 10 euro and then sell it on the stock exchange. If the stock price is below 10 euro, the value of the option is zero, because it would be cheaper to buy the stock on the stock exchange since there's no obligation to exercise the option. However, this valuation model does not work to value the option before maturity, since the value of the option has to consider that the price of the stock can change. So the goal of the Black Skulls formula is to determine the value of a European call option before maturity. This is the Black Skulls formula. It consists of two parts. The first part represents the inflow a buyer of an option receives, which is the potential receipt of the stock. The second part represents the outflow of the option, so the potential payment of the strike price. At first we want to focus on the second part of the formula. The outflow represents the potential payment of the strike price. Since the strike price must be paid in the future, we need to discount the strike price to take the time value of money into consideration. The second part of the formula represents the probability that the strike price must be paid. The strike price must be paid if the stock price is higher than the strike price since then it is profitable to exercise the option. For this probability, three factors are relevant. Firstly, the required return, so the return that is necessary that the stock reaches the strike price. Secondly, the expected return, and thirdly, the standard deviation. The standard deviation represents the volatility of the stock. If you want to understand the mathematical derivation of the formula, we have a separate video for you. Now we just want to focus how these three factors influence the probability that the option is executed. When the required return increases, the probability that the option reaches the strike price decreases, since higher returns are less likely than lower returns. Whereas if the expected return increases, the probability that the option reaches the strike price increases since the necessary return consequently decreases. Whereas an increase in the standard deviation has no clear consequence. The consequence depends on the current stock price. If the stock price is above the strike price, a lower standard deviation increases the probability, since it is less likely that the stock price falls below the strike price. Whereas if the stock price is below the strike price, a higher standard deviation increases the probability since a higher volatility increases the probability that the stock price will exceed the strike price on maturity. So now that we have understood the outflow we can focus on the first part of the formula, the inflow. The inflow represents what the buyer of the option receives. The buyer receives the potential receipt of the share. Therefore, the inflow represents the expected share price multiplied by the probability that the share price will reach or exceed the strike price. To explain this in more detail, we have an option on a stock with a stock price of currently 7 euro 50 and a strike price of 8 euro 50. Also, the current stock price of 7 euro 50 represents all potential future values of the stock weighted by the probability. The goal of the probability of the inflow is to determine the proportion of the current stock price that represents potential future stock prices that exceed the strike price. To calculate this proportion, two factors are relevant. Firstly, the probability that the stock price is above the strike price. 
Secondly, the extent to which the stock price will exceed the strike price. The probability that the stock will reach the strike price is the probability that we have calculated for the outflow, also called ND2. However, we have not calculated how far in the money the option will be. That is the reason why the probability calculated for the inflow is different than the probability calculated for the outflow. The result of this difference is that the option becomes more valuable when the volatility of the stock increases. Since then, much higher stock prices are possible, which would make the option much more valuable. We hope that you have now understood the black Scholes formula. If you are interested in the mathematical derivation of the formula, we have a separate video for you. Many thanks for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye!